So with every clean out, you're always gonna find some interesting stuff. So let me show you what we found. So come to work and you can get your teeth cleaned, Daniel. Right right. Joke removal showed up and we delivered. I know you guys don't like the box truck, but I'm telling you, I just had a trailer today. Man, this thing would this job would have been two days here. That would have costed me more jobs tomorrow. So yeah, you can rag on the box truck all you want. cracking junk removal today we got a big job on our hands and yes that means a big payday so we're excited to help our customer out she has a big garage and also a big shed outside and that shed it's dirty it's dark it's dusty a lot of old items uh, her dad was a dentist so we got some big heavy equipment in there so this job should be a lot of fun uh, but if you have a big job whether it's a home clean out a garage clean out and you're located in the tri-cities cracking junk removal is who you want to call we got the tools we got a 16 foot box truck to handle the jobs so if we did this with just a trailer like a lot of other companies uh it would be tight it would be hard pressed to get it in one load but with this 16 foot box truck we'll get it all in no problem so i'm just pulling up to the job here so let me go, let me go ahead and show you here's quick. one part of the job we got this big shed to clean out oh we got one two three mowers we got a snapper we got an old school lawn boy and as i was saying earlier her father was a dentist so got some old dental equipment and this stuff is this stuff is heavy no joke but hey they called the right company the junk removal is gonna knock this job out we got this too this is another yep oh yeah, there's the den dental chair right there. You sitting. Daniel, sit down. Do your teeth. I'm good. You sure? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Got a can. Got some scrap metal. These cans are pretty cool. These Pennzoil ones. Yeah, is everything in here gone? Yeah, so all of this is going, she said. Nothing in here she wants to keep. Uh, you got three of those Pennzoil cans. Uh, look at these old soda crates. It reminds me of my job when I used to work at yeah. Coca-Cola back in the day. Um... Daniel, if you need to get home, here's a bike for you. you can... I know. I may need that one. <laughs> what is this? That video. thing's huge. Yeah, that's all she's thinking. All right. Yeah. So, all right. So, this is one part of the job. Let me go ahead and show you the next part. So, here is the garage, two car garage that we have to clean out. Wow, look at this stuff, guys. This is a lot of stuff. This is insane of how much stuff there is uh luckily we're not taking the tubs these shelves these shelves with all the boxes are staying so that means the only things we have to take are the stuff back here uh old box spring you got a couple bikes some golf clubs this workbench does stay filing cabinet goes um those are going and hey, we're not playing on the job daniel Why not? <laughs> uh we this got some more to... yeah junk over here this table yeah. not too bad you probably reuse that uh customer did say she wants to keep these uh tubs so we got to empty the stuff out of there we got to take this filing cabinet and this one stays that's what the red tape means we got another table some scrap metal and more junk so that's enough of us talking it's time to get cracking so with every clean out you're always gonna find some interesting stuff so let me show you what we found so far well, so we found this old masters golf towel I thought that was pretty cool uh, got this old vintage plane uh, did find a nice Huh? King James Bible. Cool. Um, also, got, what did you say these were, Daniel? These were... This, one, this right here? Oh, this yeah. One? Old Civil War bullets. Old Civil War bullets. Look at that. Or, yeah, from muskets. From muskets. That's and pretty these cool. these display cases are nice. Yeah. I have some coins I'd like to use to put one in. Put some coins in. Yeah, we got an old army helmet. 
You found some records. I got some little stadium seat cushions. And I thought this was pretty cool, this old brownie movie camera. And of course, yes, we always find American flags, especially with this gentleman being a, a veteran. And I thought this was pretty cool. Uh, this is a 1945 Johnson City Press Chronicle from World War II. Um, so that's pretty neat. And then... Um, I thought that was pretty cool. I guess the United States Naval Academy. So we did find a few good things in here. So, all right, back to work. What's that stuff? Yeah, Trash? Trash? Dump it! Dump it, Daniel! Let's get these bags in there. These old nasty bags. There's something in there. Let me stack a million dollars. A million dollars doesn't get you far nowadays. Yeah, just more paper, it looks like. Okay. All right. There's something wrong, though. What? Oh, no, you're not in there, Dan. The fourth Daniel, one's missing. missing. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, pretty cool. That That's pretty yeah, neat. Like that. yeah, I like the... There's a coffin on it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll do that away. That's pretty cool. What's that? Oh, my like, scared oh, yeah. me in that mirror. Woo, Daniel. How did you do that? <laughs> Oh, uh, this is what we got in the truck so far. Uh, it doesn't look like a lot, but we had to bag a lot of stuff up. We had to empty out the filing cabinets. That took some time. So we got start with the bulky stuff. And then we had to go through a lot of these uh, tubs over here. So, so now we're just condensing. We got all the big stuff except for the bikes in the back and the Christmas tree. So... Yeah, we're doing pretty good. It's hot out. Yeah. Luckily, we're in some shade, though. But I'm going to need to stop and get some lunch soon. We're making pretty good progress so far. We got the whole garage cleared out. We got this old dinosaur, this big, heavy dental chair in. And let me tell you, this thing was so heavy and awkwardly shaped. Trying to drag it on this ground was hitting these divots it was a pain to get in so now daniel said he loves cracking junk removal so much he said he's going to do this one all by himself i did, I did. yeah that's why i bring him i bring him for the big stuff and i guess like embedded into the wood i don't know but this thing is heavy too so all right we're gonna try to put it on the dolly and wheel it out because we got a little bit of a distance to walk that tilt trailer you checked out my last video, it's coming in handy again. We brought her right in before, right up here. So we gotta get this one, it's connected to the wall with this cord or this this uh, rope right here. It is. Yeah, I don't know. All right, cut we got all the dental equipment on, look at that. Come to work and you can get your teeth cleaned, Daniel. I know, right? Actually, we got a little bit more dental equipment to put on, a couple lawnmowers of bikes. And I think that, well this too, this and then we also have left the filing cabinets. We got two bikes and some small bits of scrap metal and some chairs up there. So we're gonna throw that on here. And uh, everything else will go in the box truck. Uh, I got these cool Pennswell cans. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them, but they're pretty neat, too nice to throw away. Oh my gosh. Dang, got some bullets. Yeah, we got a machine gun. Goes to here. AK or I don't know. Two two three rounds maybe. Uh -huh. I'll have to ask the customer. They want done with it. It's old anyways. Yeah. Check out this garage. Two car garage was full of junk. Crack and junk removal showed up, and we delivered. As you can see behind me. Building's all clear. All these items the customer said to leave, so that's what we're doing. Uh, you can see it's indicated by the red tape, and everything is cleaned out. We swept up the best we could, and now we just have to finish up the shed area. So let me.
first before I show you that, let me show you what we got in the box truck so far. As you can see the box trucks loaded down. Gonna get this filing cabinet in there and that will leave us with a little space here plus space on top. Uh, it's dusty in here, dirty, but oh yeah, be careful, Daniel. We just gotta sweep up, throw all that stuff away, pick up some of these loose items, and that's it. So, it's hot, I'm tired, but we're not stopping until the job's done. So, I'm gonna keep at it, I'll catch you guys in a little bit. It's been a long day, I'm tired, but we're done. Got the job finished, as you can see behind me. Got the shed all cleaned out, showed you that garage earlier. Got the tilt trailer full of metal. And this is the second load on the trailer. Here's the box truck. As you can see, she is all full. Packed, yes, even to the top this time. I'm just so excited about unloading this tomorrow. I know you guys don't like the box truck, but I'm telling you, I just had a trailer today. Man, this thing would this job would have been two days here. That would have costed me more jobs tomorrow, so. Yeah, you can rag on the box truck all you want. It is a little bit more work, but hey, the crack and junk removal on the box truck, we get the jobs done, and that's what matters the most.